Okay, so um, this is the rowing rig that I built for my paddleboard, which is a Pauhana Navio. And um, the Pauhana, I think this is about 32 inches wide. It is about, uh, I can't remember if it's 11 or 11.6 11 uh, in length, but it is what's called a displacement uh, paddleboard. And what that means is, is that the water is kind of pushed to the side. It has this ridge here, and that's specifically why I decided to choose this one, uh, even though probably a little bit longer one would have been better, but the ridge will help it track better as I row it. And I have a homemade, uh, homemade rack, which I can just drop. You, you can see over here that I have uh, some, uh, I can drop it onto my car tie it onto the car and then uh, just drive away. So um, the reason that I built this is that I used to have a canoe and the canoe was just too darn heavy. It was very uncomfortable to, to work with, especially after getting, you know, going on a long row, row. I would try to get it on the car and it was 82 pounds and it was very bulky and, you know, being alone, it was just, just not comfortable and exhausting, frankly. And uh, this actually was originally on the canoe, so I decided to keep it since why not? It worked and it's pretty good. It could be a little bit stronger, I suppose, but it, it does the job. And if it ever breaks, I'll just uh, replace it. And these, again, these are a little long. If you can see there, I need to get shorter ones because those were the original ones that came with the canoe. Now, the reason I built it this way was that it was a design very similar to one that was on the internet. And, uh, you know, I, I used it today and it was actually quite good. I, I was worried that it would be um, too narrow, but it's actually okay. Um, the boat was pretty stable. I did find, though, that I think this is a little bit too high off the, the, the water. And the reason that it's high off the water is, is that, well, not the reason, but it is, uh, I designed it to be uh, about 15 and a half inches off the, off the water. But then I decided to put this on top. There's a, there's a, a little bit higher than I expected. Um, and uh, the problem is, is that, you know, the oars, which are actually sculling oars and very long, they're just a little bit too high to reach the water. So when, you know, when that end is in the water, this is a little bit high and it's probably at chest level when in fact it should be a little bit lower, closer to my belly button, frankly. So I'm going to uh, take the, these off. I didn't glue them because I wanted to be able to, to take things off and cut them if I have to. And I'll make it probably an inch or an inch and a half or maybe two inches shorter. I might do the same with this. Uh, the seat is um, about, well, with the padding, it's about 11 inches off the off the ground, but remember that the paddleboard is maybe two inches off the water, or maybe even four, depending on where the water line is. I guess this might be the water line. So the water line, you know, here it's about four inches deep, but the water line might be around here. I'm not really sure. Uh, there's another video of me actually rowing it. It was taken a little bit far away, so it doesn't really show the, uh, the thing uh, doesn't really show specifics that are very up close. Now, the other thing is, is that uh, this is about ooh, a little less than, maybe about 12 inches wide. And for those who might want to build something similar, it's, uh, it's about 32 inches, maybe 31 inches from the very front to the front of the seat here. 
So from the very front, I'm trying to move this there. Okay, so from the very front to the front of the seat is 31 inches, or maybe 31 and a half. And then the seat itself is about, sorry, uh, about 12 inches. So, um, and I might move the seat back a little bit also. It, it was a little bit cramped. Um, I think it would be better sitting back a little bit further. The, um, but otherwise, I was quite satisfied with it. Uh, I had a strap, just kind of like a one of these straps almost, but with a, a ratchet on it, um, holding it to the boat. And I thought that would be a hindrance, but it really didn't seem to affect anything. It was, it was quite fast. Now, the Pauhana... It does have screws here, and I might be able to work out something where I actually screw the uh, rowing machine, or rowing machine, rowing rig into the boat just to keep it from flopping around. But my real concern is, is that, you know, if, a, if I flop over, uh, this thing doesn't fall into the water and just drown. Uh, this is made of mahogany. Um, I got that. It's a very strong wood and it handles the water very well. So uh, the main thing is, oh, and also let me get this. It's about 64 inches from this end. Sorry. From that end, whoop, not having luck with the, yeah, it's about 64 inches from end to end. Now these paddles or these oars are sculling oars, and you can see that it has a specific sculling oar uh, lock. And uh, so they're very quite long, but a little bit too high off the water from my uh, experience today. And there's another video that I will be posting, or I've already posted, that shows the, uh, the boat in action. Uh, I think that the Pauhana was reasonably good it did, uh, the, the nose kind of went into the water when I was at uh, a stronger stroke or when I pulled, kind of uh, leaned backwards as I rode. But, uh, you know, otherwise I was pretty satisfied with it. It was stable enough. And uh, I will be doing this more. I think after I make my changes, cut it down a little bit so it's a little lower. Um, and it'll be um, more at uh, mid-stomach rather than higher. The other thing that I might do is because these overlap a little bit, they kind of get in the... I'm oh, sorry. Because these overlap a little bit, they kind of get in the way when I'm rowing. So I might move it out a little bit so that they're more about 66 inches so they don't bang as much as I pull in. Now, I, I read that um, on some of the ones that they build in the factory, they actually have the right side a little bit higher so that it doesn't quite overlap. But um, I'm not going to be that specific. I'm just going to uh, put them a little bit further apart, I think. So that is... Uh, oh, and the other thing is, is that when you build this, you know, when, when it, you're at rest, right? When you're at rest, you want this to be kind of comfortable in your hands, not too far forward. Your hands aren't pulled out like this or not too close to your body so that it's butting up against your stomach. Uh, and so that, that means that you have to have enough space in this area between the, the bars and the seat. And that is my design. It's based on something I saw on the internet. And I hope you like it. And if you want to build it, go ahead. It's, it really rose quite well.